Hello, my name is Sarah B, and today I'm going to be explaining how magic and spells work in D&D. Magic is an essential part of the wizard and cleric classes. They even have a third sheet on their character just to keep track of their spells. Now you may have noticed that only two of the columns are actually filled out. That's because this is a level one wizard, so they only have access to level one and level zero spells. As they level up, they should gain more magic. The spells are divided into two categories, prepared spells and cantrips. Cantrips are weak spells that can be done at any time. Prepared spells are much stronger, but they can only be used once per long rest, effectively once a day. The cleric and wizard have very different types of magic available to them. A cleric's magic comes from their wisdom and faith. It is meant to empower and heal their allies, but they also have strong weapons and armor to make up for it. The wizard's magic comes from their deep understanding of arcane. This gives them a wider variety of spells, but also means they can't wear armor. What dice do you roll to cast a spell? That's where magic gets really tricky. Each spell has their own rules. Some spells will work like skill checks, whereas others will work like weapons. You can find the spell's instructions on the spell sheet. Where should you cast spells? You can and should cast them everywhere. As the magic class's biggest tool, they shouldn't only be used in combat, but also to solve puzzles or add some flair to roleplay. D&D's magic system is incredibly complex and thorough. That can make it a bit overwhelming at times, and the players may need some assistance to get the hang of it. Thank you for watching this. I have no more videos to recommend. So now you're ready to start the Junior D&D Star Kit. Have fun!